eight months ago, this house was big, empty, and dumb. But after a lot of work, we've transformed it into the CNET Smart Home. Let me show you some of the coolest stuff we've done. We made voice control the center of the home because it's so simple and intuitive. With Amazon's Echo, we can control almost every smart device in the house, including the lights. Alexa, turn on the whole house. Here in our family room, we've smartened up the entertainment center by hooking Alexa up to a device called Blue Moo. You don't have to worry about finding the remote when you can turn your TV off with your voice. We also installed a smart ceiling fan with motion sensing technology. No wasting energy when you're not in the room. And these motion sensors talk to our downstairs thermostat, the Ecobee 3. In addition to talking with Alexa, this thermostat can sense when we're not home, also saving on electricity costs. Here in the kitchen, we've gone with two connected large appliances. Over here is the Samsung Family Hub refrigerator, and here's the Samsung Wi-Fi range. The oven connects to our smartphone, and it can send us a notification in case we've left a burner on. For the fridge, it has cameras inside that can show us the contents when we're at the grocery store, and it can even track the expiration dates of food. We've been skeptical about smart laundry products, but the Whirlpool washer and dryer set here actually has some useful features. They can send a notice to your phone when your load is done, and you can also remotely start and pause loads mid-cycle. We also turned this old bedroom into a room for kids, complete with color-changing lights and this handy remote control. We have a camera with night vision so you can keep an eye on your kids when they're sleeping, as well as this bed that lets you track their sleeping patterns. We added that same sleep tracking to the bed in the master bedroom, and here it works on both sides of the bed. We also have our second floor thermostat in the master, and here we went with Nest. It controls the general heating and cooling up here, but in the bedroom it works together with our other haiku ceiling fan and a smart vent to regulate the temp in this room more precisely. We even added smarts to the garage door. This device lets us open and close the garage doors from an app, but also with Alexa voice commands. But not everything works as well as we want it to. This countertop from DuPont actually has wireless phone charging built into it. But as you can see, it's not quite as responsive as we'd like it to be. So what did we learn from all this? Well, a few things. We learned that voice control really is great, but you do have to learn the lingo to make sure you get things working the way you want them to. We've also learned that setting up a whole house with smart home tech can get really expensive. Even the lights and smart switches we've installed here ran up to multiple thousands of dollars. Finally, we found that the best products in the smart home are the ones that don't rely too heavily on a smart home platform. Things like the Amazon Echo, Nest Cam, and the Big Ass Fan's Haiku ceiling fan stand out by themselves. Even if the networks they talk to become obsolete, the devices themselves will still be useful. Thanks for watching. This has been super interesting for us. And if you're interested in reading more about smart home technology, please come check us out at CNET.com.